Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, uh, I want to show you how you can make a parametric uh, barrel vault in Grasshopper. Uh, first, we're going to define a rectangle, which is going to uh, define the section of the barrel vault. We can also define an offset, which I'm going to explain this tutorial, what it means. Let me change that so you can see the final results. Uh, we can also define two different heights. If you give it the same height, it's going to be the same height for both of them. But if you have two different heights, you can also produce these results like this. And we can finally bake the final results. And we bake this into layer one and bake this into layer two, which is going to be the two surfaces we have and have this in Rhino. So you can see that we have this in Rhino and uh, we'll get the final results. What I want to do here is assume that we have this base rectangle. Uh, we're going to find each edge of this rectangle and make an offset from the corners. And then uh, from the middle, we're going to move it up, which is going to be the height. And then we're going to produce a curve, uh, which this is going to be the tangent at the start and the end. And uh, this will produce the curve also on the other edges and we will find the final results. We can also lock these two curves together to produce one of the surfaces and this one. And finally, at the end, we're going to find the united uh, surface or the Boolean union to get the final results. So what I want to do is to go to the curve uh, primitive and I'm going to use this rectangle. Uh, let's just go to the full names. By default, it's in the xy plane. So I'm going to just give a number slider to the x size and the y size. And remember, when you give a number to the domain, it's going to assume it's like from zero to that number. So it's going to be from zero to, uh, as you can see here, zero to 12. And I'll just copy this for the y size. Now we can increase that and produce the base plane. Okay, uh, now that we have the rectangle, we have to find the edges. So obviously you have to go to the curve, utility and explode. And I'm going to explode the curve. Uh, as you can see here, we have four segments, which is going to obviously be the lines. Uh, from the sets list item, I'm going to use this list item to pick things. So for the segments, you give it to the list. The base index is zero, which is going to be this one. And if I zoom in, if I hit the plus, I will have the 0, 1, 2, and 3, which is going to be all the four edges. Uh, if I go to the params menu and pick up a curve container and use the shift key to put the first and the third curve in one container, you can see that we have it here. Uh, we can control C, control V that and do the next set. So now we can simply use this technique to produce uh, two set of groups for the uh, curves and then wh whatever we do with these two curves it's going to be obviously copied and used for this one 